Live from the Computer History Museum in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's the Cube, covering food IT, fork to farm. Brought to you by Western Digital. Hi, welcome to theCUBE. We are live at the fourth annual Food IT Fork to Farm event. I'm Lisa Martin with my co-host Jeff Breck. Jeff, this is a really interesting event. The first time we've been here with theCUBE, and one of the first things I said to you this morning was, fork to farm, or we always kind of think of it as farm to fork, right, farm to table, but it's really interesting mix of, of investors here, people that are very educated in food and agriculture, and one of the things that they're focused on is connecting people who are feeding the world, billions and billions of people, with the people who are changing the world through technologies. And nowadays, we're all this tech-enabled food consumer, which has really flipped for farm to fork from fork to farm, which I found really interesting. It's pretty interesting. Our first kickoff call with Michael Rose from the Mixing Bowl, and we were talking about the conference. I'm like, Michael, didn't you get that mixed up? Isn't it supposed to be farm to fork? But as you said, it's really now the tech-enabled consumer and what they want to eat, like everything else that's being so consumer driven that we see at our other shows, is driving now what the food producers have to create. And what's interesting is they don't necessarily think of all the ramifications of those decisions upstream and downstream. And so that's a big topic of the theme here. The other thing that struck me is some of the sponsors. Yamaha is here. Yes. Uh, and one of the main sponsors. Google is here as one of the main sponsors. And we just had one of the opening keynotes from one of the guys from Google talking about how they've taken really just the task of feeding the employees um, to a much greater kind of responsibility in both what people eat, um, how that gets produced, and really kind of more sustainable long-term food, kind of a, a, a circle he called it. Um, so it's pretty interesting, I'm excited. We've got deans from a lot of uh, big, big schools. We've got, of course, like I said, <laughs> Yamaha. I'm really curious to find out what they're doing in this space. And it's fun to get you know, kind of out of the tech infrastructure space to see kind of what's really happening on the front lines. I really want to get into edge computing. I really want to get into cloud data, you know, all the themes that we follow over and over and over again, but now a real specific application and, and is doing some of the research, you know, we have to feed 10 billion people in just a couple of years and we're not growing any more land. So how are those challenges being addressed with technology? How are cloud mobile data helping solve those problems? Um, and then how are the, you know, the consumer driven um, prioritization impacting all this. So it should be a great day. Absolutely, like you said, a, a great spectrum of guests on the show today. And we think of food and agriculture as one of the largest industries globally, and as you said, there were daunting responsibility feeding billions of people in a very short period of time, having to deal with environmental sustainability, we're going to be talking about that on the program today, climate change, and also the consumer, but, but there's tremendous potential for big data and IOT and analytics to improve farming efficiencies from planting to weeding to um, fertilizing to the, the post-harvest supply chain logistics traceability. There's you know, opportunities for GPS sensors on uh, tractors and combines, as well as robotics and automation. We're going to be talking to um, a guy, the CEO, Chow Botics, who was invented Sally, a, a, a robot that makes salad. So there's a tremendous amount of opportunity, and I'm really curious to see how these, from the university folks, the deans, to the investors, how venture capital is really seeing big data as revolutionary, the potential to be revolutionary for the en entire food supply the food chain. Right, right, and another topic that's come up is really transparency and enabling consumers to see kind of where their food comes from, how it was raised, but as has come up again in one of the early keynotes, there's no perfect solution, right? There's always trade-offs, so how are people creating values, making trade-offs based on those values, and how are the food producers now being able to deliver to those values? So it should be, like say, a fantastic day. We're going to go wall to wall. We'll be here till five o'clock today. Full slate of guests, uh, a lot of two guests, so we're going to pack them in, and it uh, should be fantastic. Absolutely, I'm excited. All right. A lot of great topics. So she's Lisa Martin, I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE from Food IT, from Fork to Farm. We'll be right back with our first guest after this short break. Thanks for watching. <laughs>